Hello my soccer universe, it's the time of the year again to look at the newly released jerseys and yes, I promised a long time ago that I will do the ones that got released pre-season for the 1920 season. I honestly, I never got to it, there was always something coming in between. So a new season it is and yeah, we are starting with the Premier League. I was toying with the thought of doing the league uh, first. Um, and I said, nah, let's do Premier League because that's usually the one that uh, I start first anyway and it gets most people excited and then we'll see at other leagues. Um, I don't know how the uh, procedure will be. Uh, as I did it last year, I split the teams by the table from the finishing table from the last season. Um, and I went one, two, three, four, four through T1, and so on, to determine which uh, teams get into which video, so to kind of get the big boys spread out a little bit, and I order them alphabetically. So um, that means we're gonna start, as we very often do, with Arsenal, them being an A team. Uh, they're always gonna feature first, but it's usually one of the most interesting releases of the season anyway so it's a good point to start um after last season's very well received and very well done jerseys i think everyone was looking for what is adidas gonna do out uh put out this time and we will see a few themes that um especially with adidas will see this season but also with uh nike first of all uh, you cannot put out the same jersey every year uh, because you want to make the money. So there needs to be always some change. Then how much do you mess with traditional jerseys? I think it's very unlikely that unlike this Liverpool jersey, Arsenal will pull out a pinstriped Arsenal jersey. That look, although I would somehow want to see it, although I'm sure I will not like it, um, it's not gonna happen so you need to kind of work in a pattern and the pattern brings us to the next part um you want to make the jerseys also uh, safe to from fake so hard to fake in a way so uh that if you look at the real deal you almost immediately with those hard patterns see yeah this is not easy to fake and i think this is what this arsenal jersey here tries let me at a first look i think if this was a plain red, I think it would be a great Arsenal jersey. I think it uh, ticks all the boxes. You have the red base, you have the white sleeves. I actually like the white collar, um, a crew neck collar a lot. Even the little bit red on the sleeve cuffs, although um, could probably be removed, looks all right. And I think pulling the three straps on the side also makes for a pretty darn good look. But this pattern just distracts me uh, because as much as I read, I don't see any obvious connection to Arsenal. Uh, it is either arrows that are interlocking, going left to right, or a sand dunes or what. So I don't get it. I really don't get the pattern. Uh, I gotta be honest with you, and it's actually more distracting than anything else. I think toning it down would help this a whole lot. Um, that the Arsenal crest now features navy and lately the Arsenal jerseys don't have much navy in it. I mean last season's had a little bit. It's also a, a point of contention to me that makes the crest look a little bit out of place. But hey, that's uh, that's how it goes. Um, and the other thing that really, really bothers me with the Ar Arsenal jerseys. I mean the pattern, all right, maybe we can live with it somehow. Um, it would prevent it from being a 9-10 jersey, but um, it doesn't. It doesn't uh, tone her down so much because I think the overall look, if you look at it in the match, it still looks very Arsenal. But what really bugs me is the back. Uh, and this is uh, this particular Adidas template. Uh, the shoulders, they go all the way and you have, this looks like one of the Puma jerseys we had. And Puma never had a really good Arsenal jersey as much as I would have liked. Um, why is the back suddenly white? And why does it look completely different than on the, on the, on the front? This really, really messes up. That the cannon is there on the, on the reverse is nice. But I have to say the back completely... I don't want to say it completely ruins the jersey. But we will see it all also with another London team. 
it doesn't improve it or enhance it in any way it just drops it down even further and I have to say yeah where shall we go with this one uh, because of the back I'm gonna start this out ah, cannot the front looks like actually yeah six stars but I was thinking five the away jersey <laughs> <laughs> I call it. I know this is not the inspiration and I will, will horrible it would be. I call it a Jack the Ripper jersey. Uh, it really looks like blood splatter all over the eye, uh, cuts and whatever. What it should be is the marbles from the old Highbury Stadium. Uh, tell me anyone, I have not seen anyone yet, uh, tell, uh, show me anyone who thought at first that this is not blood. This is a bloodstained jersey, uh, and you know, then everything. Uh, the un you know, the, the navy on there, this monochromatic crest also bothers me, to be honest. Uh, it doesn't make the look better uh, at all. Touching my face too much. Let's you know, have a bite in my, in my nose. <sighs> Sorry, Arsenal, five stars. And I have to say, the third jersey last year was new perfect. This was navy with yellow. This was a classic as well. Here we have now uh, the pattern, this cloudy pattern on there again. If this was a crowd shot from the Emirates Stadium, all right. But <laughs> it just seems like, and this is, uh, Adidas is getting really, really cheap on the jerseys, I have to say. Uh, it used to be much, much, much more uh unique but these days um they just they come up with this pattern and then some explanations to it that just don't make much sense to me so yeah from that point is already and then the the color if this was yellow great but this was even last season so also i didn't do it so so if this pinkish still uh very nice not yeah i may also go six stars i have to say arsenal rather disappointing me this season Let's go to Aston Villa. Mm, Kappa again, and I have to say this one I like a whole lot more uh, right from 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 the get go. Yes, raglan sleeves. I would prefer uh, like our Arsenal, but other than that, the jersey with the pinstripes in there looks nice. Uh, you have the raglan sleeves. You have the classic pattern. Um, is it your classic Aston Villa jersey? No, it's not, but it's a decent modern take on it. Seven stars. And the away jersey avoids the big trend of this uh, year, which we'll see a little a little bit later, in that it uses the black but then with club's color. So uh, I really like the color on this one. I like the pinstriping. The black maybe as an away jersey is questionable because how much contrast is there to um, what um, to the dark red, but I can see it uh, being used a few times. It's a very pleasing to look at jersey, I have to say. I'm gonna give this eight stars. The presumed third jersey, and this is only a leak, so don't take it. Uh, but you know, last year the leak uh, turned out uh, not to be correct. I was thinking they need a white jersey. Yes, here they get a white gray jersey, but um, huh? camo pattern never sits well with me. Uh, and then no clubs colors in there also doesn't sit well with me. The image might be a very very poor one as well, but I think I have to go with these three stars for now. And then we go to one of the biggest jersey releases of the new season. This is the Liverpool home shirt now that Nike won the rights. So we had actually two big hitters in this one video. I would almost argue two of the three biggest releases are in this video. This is how the table works out. Liverpool now with Nike. Uh, I have to say, first of all, goodbye new New Balance you released. Although this was not a good template, the shirt that came out of it was a really, really great one. And New Balance has been releasing really great Liverpool jerseys. Something that if the switch to Nike is kind of a little bit... Yeah, what do you get from? Because you can get really good jerseys. Nike at its best does wonderful jerseys, uh, especially in... Um, since the early 2000s, but then they also can mix in, you know, this uh, 2016 tem template and um, everything takes a nosedive. 
The first effort I have to say is a decent one, uh, especially if you look at this picture. It looks like a proper Liverpool jersey and you add a little bit turquoise and white. Um, I honestly prefer the Lava Bird in yellow and I was going back back and forth. I'm not sure that the yellow sponsor looks all that great and that the all white looks all that great. I think it really looks and I, this way it looks the most Liverpool to me. It just does. Um, you can use a third color, but then, you know, if you use a yellow here with the turquoise, that would also be the way. But, all right, I think it looks like a decent Liverpool shirt at first. However, if you then see that the sides are very wide, then it also takes the Liverpoolness already a little bit away. Is that the word? Liverpoolness. So I really don't like the white sides. They're, they're way too prominent, especially in match. Uh, it also look, cheapens a little bit the look. The over the overlook, I think the white here on the collar and on the sleeve cuffs is all right. Then, uh, if you look at how the turquoise is applied, first of all, on the neck, it's the turquoise is outside, but on the cuffs, it's reversed. It's not coherent. I mean, on the cuffs, it looks like a Bulgaria flag, which uh, surely I wouldn't mind, although it turned upside down. And up here, it's more Hungary, Italy. Hmm. So also that also cheapens it for me. And then can we talk about the back side of the neck? I mean, what Nike does with the back sides of the necks this season is crazy. The back looks like a front, but too thick. Uh, it almost looks like a winter check, a winter shirt or whatever. I, hmm. I know you can try new things, but straighten it out. Make make a proper uh, back line. This uh, interweaving pattern, no, no. And so we go from a decent jersey. I think I will go with this the Arsenal way. I mean, it doesn't excite me. I think the addition of the turquoise gives it something special, but it's not. it doesn't make it a better jersey than the last few New Balance jerseys were, honestly. Um, those looked way better. I'm gonna go seven stars with this one. Um, the away kit is one of the most discussed in Liverpool terms. Uh, a. It's all turquoise with this swirly, slightly Asian looking pattern, which is different from shirt to shirt and then black. And I have to say, as well as in the last few years, the home jerseys for Liverpool largely have been, they've been rather running system. What happens on the away front, it takes the Barcelona route of releasing one garish color after the other and slapping a crest on it. And now we're taking way, way patterns. It's slightly psychedelic. I maybe this has some connection to the sea it yes it is probably fake safe because everyone is different but that uh, will also open for the fakers the color is a little bit better here although i still don't like the dip in there that's a yeah four stars let, let me not talk more about it i have to say that the third kit had the potential of being the best of the three except that the template and uh, Nike third kits these seasons are... Yeah, the last few seasons I actually well, was on board, but this season not so much. I mean, you have, first of all, the big black shoulder. I really like the jacket pattern with black and gray. I, actually, that looks all right, uh, much better than what Croatia ever did. And then the red logos on there is also um, sits well with me. The red sides, no. Uh, the black shoulder, yes, but then make the sleeves also black. They are this contrast I already like. And then the collar, either go all out red or... I don't, I don't know, it adds another color in there that doesn't need to be there. Either make the front black or make it uh, this darkish gray. Don't make a light gray out of it. That kind of cheapens the overall look for me. This could be really a great jersey. But with that, it just, you know, very quickly you get from a great idea into a very average five-star jersey. Let's go further down the list and we get to another Adidas team in Sheffield United. Um, I actually like the last year's jersey this time, as they often do. This is... Basically, the Argentina jersey from the 18 World Cup. If you look at the stripes, it has kind of this pixelated effect in there. Uh, in the new template, 
uh, that uh, dealers have to, I think it's a new Condivo template, they call it, you know, also raglan sleeves. And then you have this um, very early 90s type collar, but you know, the, the, the front is in a way missing. Uh, which honestly I'm not a big fan of. I have to say here it actually look, looks all right. The only thing is um, now the white becomes more prominent, whereas in the previous jersey I thought the red was more prominent. But it's a decent overall uh, look for Sheffield United. I actually like the sponsor here. There is something about it that make that doesn't look all makes it look cohesive, except that the logo with this sort of British flag and not yet pretty British flag. The yeah, that could use a little bit of uh, black. But the overall look, I think, is all right. Um, it's just the template drops it down for me. I even like, like the sleeve cuffs uh, on there. But I, I, six stars. I'm I'm very average on this one. Uh, the away jersey uses the pattern from the UA away jersey. So you know, Adidas is recycling stuff and then recoloring it, and makes it pink. Uh, for Sheffield United, I have to say. Pink in a way makes sense because if you mix red with white, you get pink. But contrast, contrast. Yes, the one is white. I think a black jersey would have worked really well here. Maybe they will release one. Um, of course, pink jerseys are also a trend as 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 of late. But it's not. Yeah, and when we go to the La Liga review, it will get crazier there. Um, yeah. It's again, um, six stars. I'm not gonna, it's not a yay, it's not nay, it's somewhere in the middle there. And then we go to West Ham, um, who have released for, I think it's an anniversary kit, but uh, 125 years, something, something like that, I can uh, read on there. Um, a very classic looking West Ham United shirt. Very reminiscent of this from Ambro in the, on the last season in the old ball and ground. Uh, of course, this has the new crest, and instead of putting some gold like this one, it just goes all out with the club's colors. Maybe, just maybe, the sleeves go a little bit too far up, and maybe the uh, neck, you know, here we have the light blue and then some red. This just seems like light blue, but I think it's an overall really strong look. The crest in the club's colors also looks interesting, I have to say. Um, it's not the perfect West Ham look in, in a way because you would expect some yellow on there. But I have to say overall I do like it uh, quite some and I have to say this is a very fine 8 star jersey. The away jersey, I, actually this is smart. Take the light blue and then take the uh, the maroon color and put the crest on it. I really think this is smart. I just find that the two hoops are too far apart I could use more hoops actually there or you know I yes you make place for the sponsor but you know maybe make it a little a little bit closer other than that I really love the idea I really love the look uh, I'm gonna give this eight stars as well and then the third jersey Honestly, I'm not a fan of blackout jerseys and we will see a lot of jerseys look at this is the trend black with gold is the trend of this season many many teams uh, Released that one But I have to say for West Ham This one looks actually all right because it provides the contrast that the others don't do uh, Not so happy about the total blackout crest except that the hammers are there the hammers I think look cool um, I probably would have loved if the outline and you know West Ham is maybe also a l gold. I think they went a step too far, but I have to say this one looks quite nice. West Ham looking good this season. I'm also going to give this eight stars. And so we are through the first video. Let me know which jerseys you liked in this video. Whether you agree with my assessment or you say I'm a complete idiot that uh, my tastes are completely out of it. It's also fine. Hey, this is my personal opinion. I'm not saying I'm the authority there. Um, anyway, drop a line below what you thought about the jersey in this video. So, uh, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to the channel for some more videos like this. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing and clicking the little bell icon so that you get updated whenever something happens in my soccer universe. That. Have a wonderful day. Bye.